Hello everyone and welcome to Prophecy Files Briefing. We're glad that you've joined us today and I want you to be sure to stay tuned. The close of this briefing is some important information about an upcoming Prophecy Files Bible Prophecy Conference happening right here at Pace Assembly and I want you to be a part of it. So stay tuned for that announcement and uh, all the speakers that will be involved. But today I want to talk to you about one of the most important things that are happening in Bible prophecy, I believe, in our world globally and certainly on an individual basis, and that is where the Bible speaks of delusion, uh, deception, uh, distractions that are taking place all around. The delusion of people's minds today is uh, on an unprecedented scale. I want to just give you just a little bit, and we're probably going to take this in two parts, uh, so you need to pay close attention to it, because in the time that we're living right now, people are departing from the faith because they have first been at a point of delusion. And delusion is spoken of in the Word of God very strongly and very pointedly in the last days. As a matter of fact, it is coupled together with a lying spirit. Lying and delusion go together. And we're seeing that spirit that has been unleashed upon uh, our planet, upon uh, the nations of the world, leaders that are directly lying and those that are in places of authority that uh, after a while are found out to be uh, speaking untruths or as it is called today, misinformation or disinformation. But it seems like nothing happens after that. Well, I want you to know in the grand uh, plan of God, delusion, deception, in fact, from the very evil one himself, Satan, the deceiver, uh, he will be dealt with and God will be justified in doing so not only upon him, but upon his emissary, the Antichrist. And this delusion is connected to the Antichrist spirit in the last days. I believe the spirit of Antichrist is certainly all among us. But when you're looking at this delusion, what does it involve? What kind of activity can be taking place uh, that proves to us that we're in a place of deception and delusion? Well, when there is uh, the voices of the propaganda media and others that are speaking about a false gender identity and uh, how that uh, if you don't use the right pronouns that somehow you need to be excised from the community or the pressure to affirm a transgendered individual or how about the misinformation that comes uh, recently divulged that the social media platforms were literally suppressing uh, other people's voices of free speech and truth that was supposed to be coming forth. That's deception on a level that we've never seen before. How about uh, AI, artificial intelligence? Ladies and gentlemen, we're watching that uh, like a tsunami across our world that is bringing with it great delusion and great deception. And then there is the climate change subject of uh, people that are exerting that what's happening in our world right now somehow has been done by man and that the climate needs to uh, be protected somehow by man. Uh, the voices are saying it's better that man is not on this planet or that we depopulate. And on and on these lies perpetuated are happening in our world today. How about government deception and delusion? where whole departments in the federal government of the United States have been found to be uh, deceptive in all of their ways and uh, lying that is coming out now through the investigations that are taking place in Congress. And then there is the latest uh, distraction and delusion that's taking place in the great discussion of UFOs and super spirituality that's taking place and how that even people are trying to put that into the Word of God the mental confusion and the media confusion and deception is at an all-time high. And the Bible says that it would happen like that in the last days, that truth would be fallen in the streets. Now listen carefully to me. Delusion is not just a mind that is in confusion, but in the realm of what we're speaking of here concerning uh, the last days and the events that would take place that would confuse and deceive and dilute the minds of people by the masses. Uh, delusion then can really be defined as a mind that is committed and addicted to a principle that is wrong, that is not biblical, that is not truth. And so with that in mind, I want to take you very quickly to 2 Thessalonians that speaks specifically about this, about strong delusion taking place 
that God will send in the end times. The Bible says the coming of the lawless one, that's the Antichrist, uh, is by the activity of Satan with all power and false signs and wonders or lying wonders and with all wicked deception for those who are uh, perceiving or perishing, I should say, because they refuse to love. This is important. People refuse to love the truth so that they can be saved. Therefore, God sends them a strong delusion so that they might believe what is false and in order that they may be condemned who did not believe the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness. This is a powerful statement, and I would assure you that while that great deception will take place when the Antichrist comes to this world, it is already pervading in our land right now. There is a uh, preparation of a spirit of Antichrist that has us in a place of great delusion where you can speak to people today about what is true, and yet their mind is so committed to the faults, addicted to the faults, that uh, you cannot persuade them. You can't have a conversation with them. They believe what they believe, that the moon is made of cheese or that the sky is green. I will tell you that the Word of God is true and it stands forever. And that's the reason why we must love the truth, the Bible says, in order for us uh, to participate uh, in these last days. We've got to embrace the truth like we never have before and love the truth so much that we propagate it to other people in spite of their rejection of it. Let me just give you a few things uh, on today's message, and we will pick this up again next week concerning delusion. First of all, strong delusion will take place, of course, uh, during the time of the lawless one or the Antichrist rise to power, according to 2 Thessalonians 2 and 8. Secondly, God actually allows this strong delusion. Why does He do that? Because people, according to the book of Thessalonians, people would actually... Uh, continue in their false thinking, their false ideas, their uh, anti-God, we don't want God in our thoughts and our mind and in our memories whatsoever until God says you can have it your way. Like Burger King says, you can have it your way. God says you can have it your way. And He turns them over in the book of Romans to believe a lie, to be deluded, to come into a delusion that they are committed so much to the wrong, to the false, that speaking the truth to them doesn't even uh, connect whatsoever. The third thing is that, that the strong delusion will also be during the time when many will rebel against God, according to 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3. This is what it says. For that day will not come unless the rebellion or the apostasy falling away comes first, and then the man of lawlessness or sin is revealed. The Antichrist will rise in power during a time when people are rebelling against God to such a degree that they say we don't want God in our thoughts, in our mind, in our media, in our schools, in our churches. Is that the time we're living in? I believe it truly is. And here's number four. People will be fooled during the time by Satan's power and false uh, miracles taking place. We're in a time where people are believing anything and everything and with just a little bit of an AI, artificial intelligence tweak on a chat GPT, suddenly it becomes something that people embrace wholeheartedly and uh, believe what their eyes are telling them. But the Bible is clear for every believer, every Christian. We walk by faith, not by sight. We are not controlled by our senses or what we feel. It is truth that should order our steps. This is so important for us uh, concerning the fact that we're living in a time of great and strong delusion. This strong delusion that God sends uh, in the last days is something that will uh, serve as a part of God's overall judgment upon the earth, uh, especially during the time of the Great Tribulation, the seven years of tribulation under the administration of the Antichrist. But I submit to you today, my friends, that uh, we are living in a period where people are under the influence of this strong delusion that we're speaking of and that the Bible speaks of would be pervading in the last days. I want to encourage you right now as we stop right here and I want you to make sure you're back with me next time for the Prophecy Files briefing because we're going to take this subject up a little bit more and show you the progression of how delusion begins inside of our life until it is full-blown to a point at which a person is addicted, actually committed to believing a lie. 
It's so important that we embrace the Word of God today and that the Word of God finds its place inside of our heart, our mind, and our spirit. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. That, my friend, is the only preventative away from a full-blown lie. Satan is the father of lies. And today, the only way to combat that, of course, is through the truth of God's Word and Jesus Christ, who is truth. I encourage you to be back with us again on Prophecy Files Briefing. Till then, remember Jesus Christ is coming soon. Hello, this is Pastor Joey Rogers, and I want to give you a special invitation to join me for the upcoming Prophecy Files Conference. This Bible Prophecy Conference is going to be filled with information concerning the end times and how you can be prepared for the imminent return of Jesus Christ. This year, I'll welcome my special guest, Jeff Kenley, Pastor Shane Warren, William Federer, and keynote speaker, Pastor John Hagee. I want you to join me for this year's Prophecy Files Conference. Registration is available online at paceassembly.org and lunch will be provided for a cost of $10. We look forward to seeing you right here at Pace Assembly on September the 16th and 17th for this year's Prophecy Files Conference.